Oh my god. You smacking him with your yellow hammer or what? Yo, YouTube, what up, guys? I'm going to be going over the top five best class setups to run after the 1.21 update in Modern Warfare. Um, huge update, hard hat. Um, new weapons in Warzone, a lot of buffs to certain weapons that you guys may not know about, a lot of nerfs. Um, they fixed a lot of things, man, in this update. It was a pretty big update as well, I think around 30 gigabytes, which now the game is over 200 gigabytes, which is absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> like my little brother said, he can only have one game on his Xbox because it takes up so much space. But yeah, man. Anyway, all the best setups. Try these setups out and let's get right into it. Peace out, guys. Yo, YouTube, what up, guys? Uh, back with another video, and I, today I'm going to be showcasing you the top five best class setups to run after one, the uh, 1.21 update, 1 update in Modern Warfare. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the changes on Charlie Intel, all the, uh, the patch notes and from Infinity Ward. But anyways, a lot of weapons got a buff. Um, some that I don't even think needed a buff, in my opinion. Some of them got a nerf, like the Renettis. Um, like, I know a lot of people use those in War Zones as secondary. They got a nerf. Um, but what I'm going to cover is basically the best weapons. I think the best setups you can run. And obviously there's probably a couple of weapons that could have added to this list, but I didn't want to, you guys probably already know which ones I'm talking about once I cover these. But anyway, man, let's start with the G36 and everybody's like, why the G36? Um, yeah, man. Anyway, the G36 got a buff. It's like a, the recoil is better now. So there's uh, a reduction to the recoil. So less recoil basically and you get it, it's easier to control okay there's a faster ads speed and um the perks see this xrk ultralight barrel whatever weapon has this barrel it increases ads speed and with a no stock attachment which i have behind my face cam it also increases ads speed along with stippled grip tape they added literally buffs to all this stuff as you can see at the bottom of my screen i the mobility for this weapon is almost I mean, it's a very good for LMG. This is LMG, guys, we're talking about here. And the, uh, the mobility is unbelievable unbelievable for this. Um, the control goes down a little bit and range goes down. But look at the accuracy. The accuracy goes up. So when you can have mobility and accuracy with an LMG at this this rate, it's unbelievable, guys. I added the Dream Maker uh, barrel to it. Uh, and I took off, the obviously, the stock. And I'm running the... Uh, gilded uh variant the legendary variant for this so this setup right here so xrk ultralight barrel 5 mw laser for ads speed no stock ads speed simple grip tape and merc foregrip that'll cover your accuracy a little bit as you can see it's very very accurate as we as you can see in the bottom left corner but yeah man that is the g36 or the holger lmg so that's an lmg guys and the them stats are unbelievable for that so moving on to the next one let's go to the fal and people are like oh the fal this fal that but the FAL right here, what we want to do for this, you guys, the ultralight barrel got a buff as well and it increases ADS speed. Okay, uh, I take off the reflex. I'm going to go walk through it with you guys as we stop, as we talk. No stock is what I ran on this. Um, for this, we uh, for the perk, we want sleight of hand for the FAL. Take off simple grip tape, we want 30 round max. Take off the under barrel. And what I did here with the FAL, I put on simple grip tape because the, the mobility is unbelievable and it's a two shot kill. Guys, I'm telling you, the snow stock increases it, the simple grip tape increases it, and the ultralight barrel increases ADS speed. So this weapon is completely overpowered if you can hit your shots. Um, guys, it's two shot kill. Uh, and and the mobility is up like i don't even know why they did this especially on pc it's going to be super overpowered but yeah man this setup right here you want on the fal you want the ultralight barrel no stock attachment sleight of hand so you can reload faster um simple grip tape for ADS speed and 30 round mags just so you can spam that uh the trigger uh to get off your shots because it doesn't have a fire cap so it's just trigger finger and if you have a good one this thing is super overpowered so let's move on to the next one. Number three, uh, going with the M4. Guys, I, I was watching Crimson's video um, and talking about what he ran for everything. Okay, I run no stock on all of my stuff in multiplayer. This is basically more of a multiplayer thing, and you can run this as a primary in um, 
war zone as well and then have a different weapon for your secondary but what you want for the um anyway back to the crimson thing when i was talking about you want the best barrel to increase ads speeds damage and uh recoil he talked about that and everything else that you use have it counter the ads speed so basically if it the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel, it slowers ADS speed, so you want to put on maybe a stipple grip tape or no stock to make the ADS speed faster. He said you always want the barrel that increases damage and range. Um, what I do here is I add Monolithic Suppressor, so it has better range and damage. Uh, take off the burst, we don't want burst. Um, then you can, in, uh, this is up to you, since it's 60 round mags, I either run, you can run an under barrel or you can run slide it hand. I like to rush a lot and get close to my enemies when I'm going, so a lot of gunfights, so I prefer slide of hand just so I can get up and personal with them. A lot of reloading, a lot of, a lot of shooting, so it's, the accuracy is still going up. Damage is pretty good, range is, and look at the range, range went up, uh, fire rate went up. So the mobility went down a little bit and control went down a little bit. But once you figure out this recoil pattern, this thing is super overpowered. So I really recommend running this setup, especially in multiplayer. And I think you could even use it in Warzone, but I know a lot of you would probably prefer a stock in Warzone. But yeah, man, this is another setup. Moving on to the next one, um, <clears throat> MP5. I just put this in here. Everybody knows MP5 is so overpowered, it didn't get touched. So basically, uh, it's still one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, okay, for the for the barrel, this is what I think is the best monolithic integral suppressor. This is what I run. I fell in love with it. Uh, FTAC collapsible stock, slide of hand, 45 round mags, and Ranger foregrip. I know a lot of you think Merc's better, but personally, if you look at the stats, guys, look at the stats uh, in the stat bar. Go to Merc foregrip and look at Ranger. Boom, a lot more green. Look at that, a lot more green. You got more bang for your buck when you run Ranger. So I prefer Ranger foregrip with the MP5. This thing absolutely melts. Everybody knows the MP5 is one of the meta uh, weapons in the game along with the M4. So moving on to the last one. Everybody's like, why the scar? Why the scar? ADS speed's terrible. ADS speed's so bad. Um, they increase ADS, or they reduce ADS speed. So you can, a you can ADS quicker, okay, if that makes more sense. I always get confused when they say increase ADS speed, decrease ADS speed. I'm like, wait, which one are they talking about? But so they re Reduce the time it takes ADS speed or aimed out sight for this weapon. Um, so what I'm running with this barrel, I'm running the tracer rounds. So I'm also running the Forge Stack Close Quarter Combat Pro uh, barrel for faster ADS speed. Running the 30 round mags, stipple grip tape for better ADS speed, um, slide of hand, and monolithic suppressor. Um, for you guys, if you want, instead of monolithic, you can put on something else to increase ADS speed. But I just found this to be what I uh, I love to rock on the scar. This weapon is very powerful. I think a lot of people know that, but it just didn't. The, the ADS speed was always bad. Um, it's a good war zone weapon if you've seen some people use it, but now that the ADS speed is quicker and I think it's going to be more mobile, you can get around. The mobility is up with this uh, class setup, but yeah, man. Um, and one more I did not add would be the growl, uh, guys. You guys know the growl and the M4 are kind of like a twin. People do debate on those two all the time the growl is obviously a top weapon in the game uh, everybody knows that so i mean this obviously could have made the list but i just wanted to give you guys these new buffed weapons that i think are going to be super overpowered and I, I would try them out but obviously the growl um if you want me to switch what i would run for the growl i'll show you guys real quick would be um let me find it real quick uh say we go to this one uh what i run for the growl is 60 round mags uh, no under uh, for the barrel run the nexus muzzle i run monolithic if i'm running multiplayer i run no stock and um you can either run an under barrel to the, the accuracy is still really good already so um the rear grip for i would run the uh ads speed so the xrk void barrel so that's what i would run on the growl if you're going to use the growl and put it in this list so yeah man and every class i run is double time ghosts and amps i have a c4 and stim shot with a burst pistol as a secondary i know the burst pistol got nerfed but it's still really good and a very good secondary weapon so yeah man those are the top five or six class setups i have for multiplayer mainly uh you could use these in um warzone as well but this is more of a multiplayer uh set up for you guys i know a lot of you are joining warzone and i think the community is kind of split here and there but yeah man try these setups out let me know if you guys rock any of these let me know how they work for you and yeah man that's it for the video yeah if they help you out at all just let me know man i appreciate the feedback and if there's something you want me to add or maybe a different weapon that i missed just let me know and maybe i can make a new setup video for you guys the top five class setups um down the road so yeah man hit that thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you in the next one peace out guys